All right, the high school basketball playoffs continuing tonight with the state quarterfinals. Four men's teams, four women's teams, all in action tonight. And we've got your highlights and scores, so let's get right to it. In 2A, the Farmville boys trying to get to their sixth straight state championship game. Hosted Northwood. The Jaguars hadn't lost a home game since 2018. Well, no, Northwood's Bo Harvey. Bo knows buckets, but Larry Williford, he knows championships, and he knows the road to Winston-Salem is through Chris. Chris Rhodes, the three-pointer. Then MJ Williams going to add another tray as Farmville survives and advances 77-70. They're in the 2A East Regional Final. Next up, they're going to take on their friends from Goldsboro, who are right down the road, but they have to travel all the way to Winston-Salem Wednesday to play them in a time yet to be determined. The Cougars taking out the Tornadoes of Fairmont. 64 to 56. In 3A men's East Regional Semifinal, Swansboro going where no other Swansboro team has ever gone before. This deep in the playoffs, they hosted 71st out of Raleigh. Great crowd, no highlights, but great crowd. In the end, Swansboro season comes to an end, 72 to 65. But what a year, the friendly city by the sea. In the 1A playoffs, fourth meeting of the year between Bertie and Washington County at a sold out gym in Plymouth. And uh, that one, how about this final score? Uh, on our next full screen, this final score from uh, Bertie, 61-43 was the final from that one. All right, in 2A, West Craven traveled to North Pitt in girls basketball action. Fourth meeting of the year between the two schools. The Panthers won the previous three by at least 20 points or more in all of them. Well, West Craven tried to change all that. Torbiana Hedgy, the bucket is West Craven sticking around early on, but the West Craven cheerleaders say, um, if, can we stop the McDonald's All-American? and Zamaria Jones, uh, and they could not. Uh, she's going to hit a bucket, and then Jordan Speller, the freshman, is going to finish this one off. 67-30, to 30. North Pitt continues to roll. They go to the 2A East Finals, where they will be in action coming up this week. In 4A, South Central back at home in Winterville. The Falcons hosted Western Alamance. South Central's Akima Hukins, the nice jumper, as they would be in the lead. Now, Alamance sticking around in this one, getting the bucket in their pink uniforms. But Kalen McCarter in South Central, they do it again, and they get to the Eastern Final with the 52-44 win. Now they're going to take on Terry Sanford. That will be coming up this week. 1A Girls East Regional Semifinal, Pamlico County back in the state quarterfinals for the first time in six years. They traveled 130 miles to Lake Waccamaw and lost 67-53, but another good year for April Rose and company. Let's go to the 47th annual ACC Women's Tournament in Greensboro. The second seed, NC State. They played their first game. The Wolfpack coming off that double bye, tied at 47. That's when Miss Jane, Miss Jones gets the bucket. She had 16 they points, and NC State right gets, the gets the win, really 54 right to 51. The other semifinal will be Louisville and Virginia Tech. Well, NC State will take on Florida State tomorrow at 2.30. Let's check in on baseball. East U playing their first ever weekend series in Lynchburg. Virginia taking on Liberty. Trey Savage, nine strikeouts on the mound. Bristol Carter having himself a season. Three hits, including a single, double, and triple. He had an RBI. He scored twice. And Carter Cunningham drove in a career-high five runs. East U wins at 9-5. to five. Same two teams are going to play at 2 o'clock tomorrow, 6 o'clock tomorrow in Lynchburg. ACC starting league play today. Top-ranked Wake Forest hosted number 12 Duke. And Duke, a couple of home runs, and they pull off the upset over the Demon Deacons 8-5. to five. Duke wins game one of this series. Game two scheduled for tomorrow. 16th ranked UNC hosted for Pittsburgh. Stevens and how about Parks Harbor? Locked his first home run, ball, and then this sack fly would help UNC the catch get made two in front of the wall by Popa. Pittsburgh. Cost They're going to play game two of this one tomorrow at 2 o'clock. NC State hosted Boston College in a doubleheader. Game Pistons one went to the 11th inning where Garrett center. Pennington Georgia. came through with a game-winning hit. 5-4, the Wolfpack wins that one. They swept the doubleheader 9-1. to one. They'll take tomorrow off for rain. Game three, Sunday. 11 a.m. And in the NBA, Kinston native Brandon Ingram and the Pelicans played in Philadelphia. Former Farmville Central star to Quavion Smith back up in the G League. He did not play. B.I. did. 17 points for him in the 103 to 95 victory.